Hello and welcome to the In Conversation with Brendan Gibbs, the Vice President of Automated One at Juniper Networks. Brendan, welcome. Hi, Erin. Thanks for having me here. Absolutely delighted. And today we're going to be talking about unleashing experience first networking with automation. And Brendan, it's such a critical conversation. You're looking at how CSPs can really differentiate themselves by giving a better and differentiated customer experience. How much do you think that CSPs should put that you know, at the, at the start of their strategy and keep it at top of mind? You know, if we've learned anything from the last 18 plus months of this COVID pandemic is that every aspect of our lives is absolutely online now. Service providers really need to realize that customers have choice and customers will switch at the drop of a hat. Everything we do now is done online and everything is immediately apparent. You know, this video I'm recording with you now is done over live over the internet. We're not sitting together in person, of course. So it's super apparent if there's a you know a hiccup in my residential broadband connection, it'll appear immediately as a an artifact in the video. Customers, you know, need to realize that people's actual livelihood is conducted over the internet. Their kids are getting educated over the internet in a lot of cases. So differentiating on quality of experience and differentiating on the overall um, quality of their service offering is now paramount because our, our lives are done over the internet and CSPs really need to step up to realize that, that fact. Absolutely. And one thing that I'm so passionate about is the power of automation. It's where I spend, you know, a lot of a lot of my time. And we're really seeing now CSPs really believe that the power of automation is going to help them deliver a lot of their strategic choices. For example, you know, ensuring a better user experience. How do you see automation, you know, in playing a role and onboarding customers faster and delivering that uninterrupted service quality that you've just talked about and is so essential for this new generation of services? Yeah, I, I do agree, actually, that automation is paramount and automation has the opportunity to absolutely unlock uh, a better operational world for CSPs themselves. When you think about onboarding new customers, using automation to move beyond the, the rote, the mundane uh, and, and to you know, shift to something that's repeatable, predictable with assured outcomes is going to be paramount. Um, but in order to do that, you really need to understand what you're automating. You, you need to put a lot of focus. Uh, I think CSPs need to put a lot of focus into understanding the, the nature of the service. They need to measure, they need to monitor. Um, they can't be just automating without you know, a clue of what's happening under the, the cover. So I think awareness and insights uh, is gonna be paramount to pulling off a proper automation focus, not just for onboarding you know, customers, but also for delivering that end-to-end -end service experience. It's all gonna be around answering the key question of how do you know? How do you know if the service is up? How do you know if the quality of the service that your customers are achieving uh, is actually, you know, uh, or that they're experiencing is actually high quality? That's going to be a key question that automation needs to address. No, absolutely. And that's one of the questions we often, you know, get asked. And Brennan, do you think we've got to have different measures in place to be able to do that and, and look what is happening under the hood? Yeah, I mean, fundamentally, we need to, uh, you know, in order to answer that question, I do think a new approach is required. Um, at Juniper, one of the, the key things that we're focused on helping CSPs shift to um, is actually assuring their service quality of experience. Um, one of the things that we're hearing consistently from providers is that they are absolutely struggling with that, um, you know, at least mentally figuring out how they can make that shift. Um, so I think what we, we need to do is really put that question that I just referenced, the, the how do you know at the forefront. And I think that there, there's answers. The, the good news is there's solutions to deliver that, uh, that assured quality of experience. And a lot of that's going to come from active data plane level you know, service monitoring, active assurance with synthetic metrics right on the data plane to actually monitor a service, measure a service and report on the quality of the, the service end to end. No, absolutely. And uh, TM from Juniper Networks recently did a webinar exactly on that. You know, how can uh, operations drive end to end service quality, you know, in, in the 5G and, and cloud era? And, you know, how important is it, you know, is to get an active insurance, you know, into the framework as we start to move to automation? I think it's, it's absolutely critical that, to have active assurance be uh, an integral component of, of the, you know, the toolbox of a service provider. 
you know, the, the way I liken it is without active assurance, it, you know, if you're just trying to see whether you've got phone service, it's akin to just looking at a phone sitting on your, your desk and saying, well, I, I know I'm paying for the bill. I know I'm, I'm, I've got phone service hooked up and because I see the phone sitting there, ergo, my, my, my voice service is up. That's not true. The, the way you assure that is you pick up the handset, you listen for the dial tone, you make a call and you start talking to somebody. That analog has to be uh, transported over to to the uh, you know automation world with all, all the digital networks we have today, um, and really that's what active assurance is. It's actually interrogating a service. It's 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 you know creating that those some sort of synthetic measures on the data plane. We're actually testing the service. You're using the service. You're measuring the service is actually available end to end, and you're measuring the key metrics of that service end to end and reporting on them. So service providers can have those type of answers at their hands. Without that sort of active testing, you can't be sure that something is up. You can't be sure that it's active. And I think that that's something that TM Forum and, and you know Juniper you know discussed in the recent webinar. And it, it is absolutely critical and, and so important. And Brendan, you know, one area that, that I get really excited about, you know, and we talk about CSPs automating, but we have to understand why we're on that journey and, and, and where is it coming from? And one of the key things we talk about is the $700 billion opportunity from 5G and enterprise services. You know, and a lot of that is going to require all of this that, that we talked about. You know, do you see this being critical for, you know, this network differentiation for you know delivering enterprise services and getting a slice of that $700 billion opportunity? Absolutely. You know, one of the things that I think about when I think about the, the, the new models today of 5G service introduction, IoT devices being deployed everywhere, the shift to cloud and, and even multi-cloud um, is that it's an unparalleled opportunity for CSPs to differentiate, to you know, gain new, new service revenues um, and, and really for end users to get a, a better quality of experience end to end with more services, more bandwidth, more capabilities and more ubiquity. At the same time, that creates a massive, you know, level of, of different scale and complexity that CSPs have not had to deal with in the past. It's the constant upgrades, it's the capacity expansions, it's new service introductions all happening at the same time. It's like the saying about changing the wheels end of a bus uh, going at 100 miles per hour. So I think this is where providers need automation to, to help them deal with that kind of new level of scale and complexity. Um, and automation is a way that they can essentially flatten that 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 productivity curve by dealing with massive new capacity, rollout of new devices, uh, rollout of of new network uh, elements without really you know um, growing their staff you know in, in massive amounts at the same level. I think automation is something that can bring the productivity benefits and help them deal with that uh, scale and, and capacity challenges to to really tame that. No, absolutely. I think that's so important. You know, it's about efficiency, new business models. You know, it's about that transformation. You know, obviously, CSPs are going through huge transformations and looking towards more automation. Can you tell me a bit more about what Juniper Network's been doing? You know, how have you helping, you know, CSPs redesign their automation suite and leveraging, you know, those cloud native applications to help its customers to deliver, you know, those exciting new revenue opportunities? Yeah, you, you know, I appreciate that uh, question. You know, Juniper has recently introduced something that we call the Paragon, Juniper's Paragon Network Automation Suite. Uh, and what, what Paragon represents for us is our best-in-class cloud-native, cloud-delivered suite of software applications that are really designed to help operators address their key operational lifecycle challenges. Uh, what Paragon does is it address that, that, that full suite starting from initial planning and design from configuration end to end uh, to you know gaining insights and analytics around uh, it, you know in place network infrastructure and offering ongoing remediation with assistance from the Paragon Automation Suite to help operators identify where there might be issues to remediate where the, the problems would arise and to incorporate that sort of end to end focus uh, wrapped around everything for service assurance for us that sort of shift to what we call an experience first. Uh, network is paramount for service providers and Paragon is our key asset to help providers unlock those, uh, you know, uh, efficiencies of scale to unlock that cloud delivered, cloud managed focus on automation to simplify their life and help reduce costs by, you know, additionally focusing on uh, improving the quality of experience for their own providers, their own customers. So that's where Paragon really shines. 
No, I mean, and that, that's brilliant because that's the thing. We have to see that actually, you know, the, the, the vendors are also moving along with the CSPs to help them. And, you know, it's quite a complex thing when we talk about automation. You know, it doesn't happen overnight. And I think one of the challenges that, that CSPC is where do we start? Where are we going to see most value? So, Brendan, for you, you know, what would your answer to that be? You know, I think that there's a, a lot of opportunity for, for providers to, first of all, focus on uh automating the mundane. If they can get their own operators to move upon, you know, move up the, the scale, move up the, the ladder from, you know, the day-to-day -day mundane tasks, I think that's that's a key area of focus. Getting human operators out of the day-to-day -day chain of managing a network, I think would be key. So there's a level of uh, indirection, a level of automation that, you know, sits between the operators uh, and the network itself. So that would be one. I think the second thing I would focus on is kind of what I was referencing before, which is that shift to an assured uh, experience first network. Um, I think that's something that operators can get immediate value from in terms of cutting their costs, uh, reducing the cost of, of human impact and human error, um, and, and really helping uh, delight their own customers to reduce churn um, and reduce their own costs at the same time with that focus on end-to-end -end service assurance to measure, to monitor, and to assure. No, absolutely. I think that's going to be critical. I think you picked up on all of the, you know, the key points there. So, you know, as we're going through to these new services, we've talked, you know, a lot about them, that the opportunities, where do you see, you know, the service provider ecosystem developing in the next 12 months, particularly in areas, you know, with 5G network slicing technology, which is going to require automation to deliver, you know, all of the promise behind it? You know, I, I think network slicing is, is the next big thing. I, I, I mentally think about this as kind of uh, analogous in, in scope to, you know, the, the, the prior focus of, on MPLS VPNs. It, it seems like this is the next way for providers to, um, you know, provide differentiated services and differentiated treatment to their own customers end to end. And where MPLS VPN was traditionally network focused, I think we're going to see this across the entire ecosystem starting in the RAN all the way across the network infrastructure to you know the, the private cloud, public cloud, and other you know, services. So I do think network slicing is gonna be a key focus. Um, and I think TM Forum is taking a, a big leadership uh, step here. And I think you know, we're absolutely aligned with a lot of the visions that have been espoused by TM Forum previously um, with uh, you know, some of the, the white papers around you know, the autonomous network roadmap and, and such. Uh, and, and so I, I think this is going to be key for operators where they can focus on shifting to network uh, slicing in the future, where they can take advantage of some of the, the open ecosystem and open APIs that, you know, organizations such as TM Forum have been uh, articulating and, and documenting to, to create that sort of interoperability between, you know, vendor devices and vendor automation tools um, and taking that next step to automate their own um, operations. And as I've been saying, to shift to that sort of experience first approach to networking with a service assured, you know, quality end to end, you know, metric. So I, I think that the, the, the focus in the future is going to be more led by automation and providers that, that take advantage of that will be able to take a, a key leadership role, differentiating themselves uh, in the minds of their own customers. And I think that's where it all rests. No, absolutely. And I, and I really love how you keep coming back to this experience first, because I'm with you on that, Brendan. I think it's going to be absolutely critical, you know, for that differentiating the service quality is where CSPs can really leapfrog not only their competitors, but actually other people as part of that ecosystem to really guarantee that end to end service assurance. Brendan, it's been an absolute pleasure speaking with you today. I wish we had uh, much longer because we've got many more uh, topics that we could talk uh, around this. But for now, uh, Brendan Gibbs, the Vice President of Automated One at Juniper Networks. Thank you very much. Thank you, Aaron. Appreciate it.